Fresh from a G20 meeting with his international counterparts, the Treasurer's returned to Australia with a pessimistic outlook. The world economy is a difficult, if not dangerous, place right now. Jim Chalmers will outline just how difficult and dangerous when he presents an economic statement to Federal Parliament next week, updating the key forecasts underpinning the budget. The news in that statement will be, in many ways, confronting. A year ago, the Reserve Bank forecast an inflation rate of 1.5% for December 2022. Six months later, it was tipped to be 2.25%. In February, that jumped to three and a quarter percent and then to 5.9 percent in May. The RBA boss has already warned it's likely to be closer to seven percent. I think it'll be confronting in terms of real wages uh, because uh, there is no credible economic forecaster in Australia right now who thinks that wages growth is going to keep up with inflation. Even so, the Treasurer is proposing little in the way of immediate cost of living relief, again dousing expectations that a temporary cut to the fuel excise could be extended beyond September. We can't afford to continue that petrol price relief forever. We can't do everything that we would like to do. We can't even afford the good ideas that people put to us. Jim Chalmers is spending a lot of time effectively saying it's all too hard and looking backwards. What's the plan? The Treasurer is trying to condition Australians to the bad news he'll be delivering next week while managing expectations about how much the government can do given the constraints on the budget. However, the demands on Labor are unlikely to let up as the backflip over the pandemic leave payments has demonstrated. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.